Welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, this should be fun. Uh, it's daytime, so I can talk loudly for once. And yeah, last time we beat up some drug dealer people. Jensen, I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. Pritchard. Oh, Francis. Sub bruh. There's a lot of fighting I last time. You could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. I don't I don't care what you have to say, Pritchard. Let's talk to Malik. I can't believe it, Jensen. An internment camp smack dab in the Yep, middle. there's an internment camp. That's true. Hey. Hey, Mr. Jensen. Hey! Do we still need all this security in here now that the situation is behind us? I don't know why there is security. You tell me, Jacob Wallstein. Okay, well, this is interesting. <coughs> so, at the very end, I messed around and did crap. But, uh, seems like there's a high security alert up going on in here. Uh, the lady at the desk is missing. The lady I thought was talking to me last time. Uh, so let. Which way should we go? I could go out and do the other quest. I we should do what's in here. I think we should talk to Pritchard first. I mean, what do we have to lose by talking to him first? You know, like I know he's a jerk. He's a, he's a complete jerk, <laughs> but he may have useful information that can help us not get killed by David. There's also apparently like a guy waiting for me. I don't, I don't know what that's about. Where is Pritchard's space? Spaz. 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 Uh, bathrooms. Where's Pritchard's spot? Is that it? Let us go this way. Pritchard! What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. What? You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? Oh, I've detected snap. intrusions before and shut it was them down fault. every time. I knew it the but whole whoever time. Whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. Oh. You've told Seraph? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it, specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why not you? Because, as far yeah. as I can tell, Sarif created that access, and was streaming a lot of data through it, shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Ooh. All right, let's go. Ha! You're stuck, Pritchard. Can't get out of my office now. All right, uh... You know, boss, I don't mind saying some of us were worried Mr. Seraph was calling you in too early. A panic move, you know? Definitely. Definitely a panic move. For sure. Faux show. Ooh, pretty. Hmm, look at that city. It's a pretty city. All right. Come to Seraph Industries. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Look at the symbol on the map. It looks like a wombat. Wombat? Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity <clears throat> I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you I do. I don't know who he is. As David said, security man, <laughs> I imagine you have quite the file on me. Yes. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? Mm. I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. Oh, yes. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the... It's accident. only been one Six day. Months ago, it's done a lot. One Sir, day. we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. Hmm. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. What is the deal with this guy? I don't... 
I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart. I don't know what's going on. But there's nothing I couldn't so handle. Confused. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the You're mind a psychologist? is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Um, we can let him leave. We can ask him why he came here. Or we can talk about how he brought balls to play with. Not just I want to play with some some balls, balls right now. Here. Like maybe a bouncy Not ball. Or a basketball. Right. Soccer what ball. Makes you think you'd be welcome. They were not For my sure. followers, you know I mean? Mr. Jensen. The Humanity but, Front is a peaceful organization. Radicals have no place in it. You have right. no place in it. Do you know why I formed this organization? Because you're dumb. Because I saw a technology about to run rampant. You yourself seem to be living proof of it. I'd be dead without these enhancements. <clears throat> yeah. I understand that. I also understand that on an individual level, these issues can be complicated. But we must look beyond the our coughing personal from? interests if we are to see mankind survive the next really? century. We'll survive, all right. With, With or without, without your condolences. condolences. Peace out, Tiger. I'm on your shoulder. I'm your shoulder angel. All right. Anyway. You're Tiger's aide, aren't you? No need to play ignorant, cool. Mr. Jensen. You got an aide? I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. Really? You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When cool. you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice mm. but to stand up and be counted. Counted? Frankly, I am surprised that an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. <laughs> Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. I'm sorry. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend... Had his life ruined by these so-called friends of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet once he was, too much power can make you do terrible mm. things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. Who's your friend? Tell me about your I'd friend. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What did you What exactly what did, did he do? do? Yeah. Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? Nothing. He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know, hoping to be gunned down by the police. Rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted augmentation to augmentation? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropathy independency. Rejection psychosis. I don't have that physical problem. Physical and psychological of ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. Hmm. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. Just doing my job here, sir. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Yep. What about you? Real shame what happened at your factory tonight. My condolences. You have an ugly face. Alright, anyway. Let's go do important things. Like, jump on top of him. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Boss, we need to talk. Let's so talk. Right. So I'm much stuff sure. going on. Did you set up a private access room <clears throat> past the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and He's always been hiding something. I knew it from the beginning. We didn't even know didn't trust them. existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though. Right? Are you drunk? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Are you are you drunk? Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it too. Yeah. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. I gotta know. But the important thing is you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. What's going on with you? Are you completely so drunk? Stay focused he's on wasted. what's important. I think he's wasted. Seems like he's wasted. Um. 
You went behind my back yeah. on this one, boss. You're definitely hiding something. With all due respect, stop hiding. This place secure. Come out with your hands up. I can't do that if you are not 100% straight with me. Why are you getting so defensive? All I'm saying is we should be looking forward at him. The past not informs that. the future. You may not realize this, but there is a war going on out there. A war to control intellectual property. He's gonna die. Cutting edge science. No. And as commander in chief of this, I thought company, it was like a dot dot, and then he's gonna get shot. Anything. I hired you instead of that private security company Frank wanted, because I needed somebody loyal. Yeah. Somebody who understands chain of command. Oh, really? Is that why you did it? Boss, yeah. I think we're getting sidetracked here. Let's refocus. If you want me to win this war for you, I, I will need to win know this how war. We've been compromised. I need to know what was in that data stream in case our enemies accessed it. Yeah. No, Adam. I am not getting sidetracked. I'm trying to give you a message, but apparently you can't take a hint. You disappoint me, son. What happened six months ago was a tragedy, plain and simple. I realize you lost more than most of us that day. But I can't have you overreacting like this. Questioning me about things that don't even matter. Megan believed in you. Can't you just leave it at that? No, she's still alive. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. We were. She, she doesn't. I mean... Yeah, wait, hang on a second. You're missing the point. You sneaky mom. The data you're so nervous about is little more than a bunch of routine fact-finding reports. The kind of stuff I deal with every day. Megan pointed me in a direction and I followed up on it. That's all. This is Megan's fault. Now that I've fault. shared this much with you, I have to ask how your knowing the fine details will keep the rest of us any more secure. Can't you trust me to take care of things from here? No. No, I don't trust anybody. Trust myself. Don't see anybody else getting hurt because of the information I didn't have. I still don't trust him. I'm sorry. What is it you're so afraid to tell me? I feel like this is a mistake, but I'm going to do it anyway. I would like nothing better than to trust you with this, boss. What's he going to do? But trust is a two-way street, and the way you've handled this entire conversation so far makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. That's really not how I respond. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? I'm not afraid to tell you anything, Adam. But neither will I be treated like some two-bit suspect you've just hauled in off the street. You're not a cop anymore. Yeah, I am. For me. I'm a cop at heart. Forget that. Oh, snap. He's angry. Maybe Are we done here? Because we still have to discuss our next move. Okay. All right. Getting things done. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. Okay. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. Yeah. I know that, Adam. It was an epic Frank battle was monitoring where the I thing. shot him from so the second So I also know that before he died, <laughs> that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? Yeah. The thought had crossed my mind. For real. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development. Self-controlled evolution. Well, duck, that's why I am. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. 
I also see how lucrative it can be for some yeah, others. Says chicken. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Go to the chopper. Um. Hmm. Secret elevator. No. No. Globy thing. All right. So that was an interesting conversation. He's still hiding something, but you know that's David apparently. Ha everything comes back to Megan somehow. That girl is just in a load of trouble. She, wherever she goes, she's causing problems. You know. Right. All right. Well, I'm not gonna go in the chopper yet. I wanna go do a side quest. If you guys are game for that. Go to the chopper. But not really. All right. So let's go. Um. What? Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't think that was actually going to kill me. Oh, good. Alright, cool. Let's do this again. My elevator goes up, up. I feel like I've done that before and I didn't die last time. <laughs> so random. So we got entertaining Detroit, Soloto. We got some fancy schmancy buildings. A little keypad here. Wee! No, I can't believe when we were in that fight in the last video. And I like I thought that was annoying. I ran at one point. I was up where I was fighting the sniper, and when I ran, I like jumped off the ledge. That was really really annoying. I was like, I'll be fine. Not. Alright, cool. Be free. 